Hey, so I wanted to talk about some of our services that we offer. And, and today we're going to talk about the RV refrigerator service. So basically when we're doing a refrigerator service, there's so many different refrigerators in our industry. There's different brands, there's different styles, there's different sizes. Uh, when, on our service menu, if you go to our website, you're going to see that we kind of bullet point a few subjects on there. The bullet points are basically a, a, sh a short version of just some of the main topics. You know, basically we're going to go ahead and we're going to check the overall operation of the refrigerator. We're going to look at like the venting, how it's installed, whatnot. Uh, we're going to check to make sure that the pilot, burner, orifice, and all that type of stuff that runs on the propane side, that that's all clean and there's nothing blocking it. We're going to check for any bugs, nests, uh, signs of anything that's loose. And then we're going to go ahead and do an LP leak down test. So to give you a little bit more information on that, when you're looking at those bullet points and you go, wow, that's a lot of money just to go ahead and do those four or five items. It's there's a lot more to it than just that. You know, our technicians are looking at your handles. They're looking at the latches. They're looking at the hinges, the doors, the gaskets, the frames. They're looking at the lights inside. They're looking at the casing inside. They're looking at the, the fins and vents, fans. Um, you know, same thing on the outside. When we're saying that we're looking at the overall operation, we're looking at a ton of stuff that would take a whole page to describe. Um, you know, so we're looking at the positive and negative connections on the refrigerator side to the 12 volt, you know, the 110 side, we're testing those sides. Um, we're looking at the PC boards, the connections on the PC boards, you know, anything that can be an issue. We're looking at the depth that it was installed in, we're looking at the baffling, we're looking at the uh, mounting screws, the stuff that's securing the refrigerator in place so it doesn't come loose on you and travel. We're looking at the insulation and stuff that's been installed to make sure that nothing's moving or coming loose. So, you know, again, we encourage you to do a refrigerator service. This is something that all manufacturers recommend as well as the appliance companies. And those are recommended every, you know, six to 12 months, depending on how much you use it and the way that you are using it. So uh, thank you so much. And I hope this kind of explains a little bit more on what we were doing for the refrigerator service.